Hey guys, we are in the basement and today we're gonna talk about a new game. Now I gotta tell you, I've been really trying to mix it up down here. You know, I got rid of my Simpsons pinball party and I recently actually replaced it with a theater of magic. Pretty badass, huh? This is an awesome 90s Bally Williams pinball machine and I will have a video up soon of this game. Today we're gonna to talk about something totally different. I actually traded one of my games away with a fellow collector. Um, I traded Jungle King. Now I love Jungle King and it was a little painful to do, but I just kinda of wanted to mix things up a little bit. I wanted something totally different. And I traded it for Sega Outrun. Now I used to have Sega Turbo here and I've now replaced it with Outrun. And Outrun is one of, to me there's like basically three top most important driving games in arcade history. In order, number one, Sega Turbo, which was like just, no one saw anything like that until that came out. And then Pole Position came out, which blew Sega Turbo out of the water. And then in 1986, Sega put OutRun out. And that really upped the ante for driving games because we never saw anything that looked this gorgeous. We never saw something, anything that was as realistic as this was. I mean, just look at this thing. This steering wheel feels like a real car steering steering wheel. The shifter knob kind of feels a little leathery. You know, it's got the little Ferrari thing on here. You've got a chick driving with you in the car. It's very 80s. It's very Miami Vice. Like, the colors here are all kind of like Miami, you know, Miami Beach kind of, you know, they really try to capture the spirit of the 80s. And this game was designed by Yu Suzuki, who's kind of like the Miyamoto of Sega. You know, he was, is responsible for, like, OutRun, Turbo OutRun, Hang On, Afterburner, Burner, Virtua Fighter, um, Shenmue. I mean, this guy has developed a lot of games that we all know, and Sega Outrun is definitely one of his greater titles. And today, there even, there's even sequels to Outrun, like on the Xbox and stuff. So it's an awesome, awesome driving game. And this is actually a cabaret version, meaning it's smaller. It's a smaller form factor compared to the full size upright. Um, but what's cool about it is that it has actually the full size monitor. Now they call this like a 20 inch monitor. It's actually really just a 19 inch. I don't know. But it's a very cool game, and it's got really cool features about it. Um, the steering wheel actually shakes when you crash, and actually on the cabaret, it only shakes forward and back. On the full size, it goes forward and back and left and right, so it's even more intense when it shakes. But actually, I don't mind the just forward and back. I don't want to be too crazy when I play it. Um, it's got a shifter knob, which is basically a low and a high gear. Um, it's got a gas pedal, and it's got a brake, and the brake is actually really important in this game, like compared to pole position. In pole position, you never touch that brake pedal. And in OutRun, I don't even, I mean in Turbo, did they have a brake pedal? I don't think they did. But anyway, the brake pedal is super important in this game. But what's unique about OutRun is that it's all about kind of the driving experience. As if you are really driving a car. Whereas pole position is more like a raw kind of, not so much twitch, I don't think. It's more about like finesse and just kind of raw skill. They really tried to kind of you know, give you the full driving experience in this game. The car reacts kind of totally differently and not as twitchy as like pole position. Anyway, why don't I set up the tripod and so you show you guys how OutRun plays. Okay, we have the tripod set up, and let's start again. Now, first things first, I have a ROM hack in here that actually adds free play with a track. And this is called a track, when the game's playing by itself. And by default, if you put it on free play, you don't get any attract. It's just kind of stuck on the song selection screen. So this is an awesome ROM hack if you guys have an OutRun game. And it also adds high score save, which is bitchin'. So, all right, let's start the game. I'm going to press the start button. Now, first things first, we need to select a song. We need to select a sound track for the game and this game is totally known for its music and you turn the steering wheel you know basically dialing in a radio station so we're gonna pick magical sound shower all right so I got my foot on the gas and I got the car in low and basically we're gonna be driving and the object of the game was to get to, get to the end and basically right now immediately I need to get to the first checkpoint and I'm gonna shift here in the high right around 180 kilometers per hour now right away you notice this game just feels totally different than like pole position it's it's more like you're just driving down the road. Uh, it's not quite as like jerky as like pole position, which is pretty different really for the day. And also look at the graphics. I mean, when this game came out, we never saw anything like this. I mean, there's cars on the road, there's semis. Look at the beautiful water and the clouds. I mean, this game really, really looked good when it came out. All right, so 
we gotta try to not crash and get to the first checkpoint. And if I do crash now or go off the road, the, the steering wheel is actually gonna shake violently, and I don't want that to happen. Cause I wanna get to the checkpoint. Here comes a branch in the road. We can go left to right. And if I go left, it's a totally different course than if I go right. And that's what's cool about this game is that the you, you basically get to the end any number of different ways depending on what route you take. All right, I made it to the checkpoint. All right, now's where it gets a little wacky. All right, so I went in the grass there. You could hear the thing shaking. So now the object is to get to the next checkpoint, and every little stretch of the course is totally different than the previous one. And by the way, the brake pedal is very important in this game. I mean, on outrun, I mean on pole position, there isn't even a brake pedal on the upright version. Ah, oh, I just crashed. You can hear the steering wheel shaking there. This game is very hard. <laughs> I mean, it's, it is very, very hard to get to the end of the game. All right, we got a sharp turn coming up here. Wow, yeah, I do suck at this game. It's also kind of hard to play with a camera in your face. Listen to that music. You should do like a, a YouTube search for uh, OutRun music. Right, anyway, there you go. That's basically it. I mean, now it's going to show a map of our, of our progress. And you can see all the branching ways that you can go. So there's like, you know, there's mountains, there's desert, there's ice. And it's got some great uh, high score save music. So let's put our initials in. For subscribing to my little channel and uh, hey you know what let me show you guys something you know there's a big hole right here because in the, recently I got rid of Domino Man I got rid of Jungle King what else did I get rid of is that it two I don't know but anyway I, I have a hole here and I'm ready to fill it let me go show you guys what's going on in the garage all right, here we are in this mess of a garage. Man, we check this out. So a friend of mine finds this stash of games, like 30 games in like this abandoned warehouse. And so he finds the guy that owns them all. And so me and a bunch of my friends got together and we bought all the games. And these games were dirt cheap. And I grabbed Scramble, which is a game that I love. I've I love Scramble. I, I used to play this game a lot. So this one is working already. I, I fixed it over the weekend. And I also picked up Missile Command, which is another, another badass favorite game. Missile Command is totally dead. So I gotta try to fix the PCB, the board. Uh, so I'm actually really excited to get that going as well. And then these other, this is my Discs of Tron, which is gonna be coming down soon in an extra pole position. And then this game is actually not mine. It's a friend of mine's. Uh, this is called Kick. And uh, I'm actually gonna put up a video of this. Um, he sold this. He sold it to someone, and they're gonna come pick it up at my house. But uh, Kick is actually a pretty interesting game. I'm gonna put a video up, up of that soon. But anyway, that's it. This is kind of my on deck circle, and somehow I ended up with an extra outrun. Yes, there's one in the garage and in the basement. I have a problem. But anyway, there you guys have it, and that's what's going on in the garage. Anyway, there you have it. Thanks again for subscribing to my little channel. If you're not a subscriber, please click that little subscribe button now. Anyways, that's it, guys. We'll see you later. Thanks for viewing, and bye. <laughs>